Hi, I'm Ben from Imperium, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our integration with the Amazon S3 to securely allow your members to download files through your site. This video is for you if you offer PDFs, Word docs, or other downloadables on your site, and you want to secure them so that only paying members have access. Now, one of the common challenges with offering paid downloadables is that people tend to share them, uh, links to them, with non-paying members. Now, this reduces the incentive for new people to sign up because they can just get your files for free online. I mean, the download links are freely available since somebody shared them. Now, Memberium tries to combat this by offering expiring download links. Let me explain how this works. When a user views a page with one of the Memberium Amazon S3 links, the link is generated specifically for that page view. It's signed. When the user clicks that link, a timer starts counting down. You decide for how long the timer goes, but typically you only need 5 to 10 seconds. That's just enough time for the browser to load the PDF of the file for download. Once the link expires, it will show an access denied message rather than actually showing the files or the PDF. That is, if somebody else clicks on the link, they're going to be blocked. If the user goes back to the original page where they got the link on your site and they refresh, they'll have another link with a new expiry timer. Essentially, the links are all one-time use, which prevents people from sharing them. If someone shares it, then the first person who uses it will burn the link, so to speak, so that anyone else trying to download will not be able to access the file. Now, it's important to note that someone really set on sharing your content can do things like taking screenshots, they can record video with screen capture software, or they can even try to remake the PDF on their own. Memberium will not be able to fully prevent all this from happening, but we try our best to make it a little less easy so that hopefully people are deterred from doing so. So let's go ahead and dive in on how this works. I've over here in WordPress and I'm under the Memberium Remote File Settings. I've set up my profile here and I'm going to walk you through all this first, but I just want to show you that I've set that up and I've dropped this shortcode, which we're going to cover, onto this page. I'm going to open this page up here in a new tab. And as you can see, I have a Lesson 1 PDF thing. Now, if I right-click and copy the link address and I come up here to the address bar and paste that in, you'll see there's just a ton of uh, almost encrypted-looking information right here. And if I press Enter right now, you're going to see that it's going to allow me to view my PDF. This is a PDF for Lesson 1. It could be a download that you, that you offer for your members or students, for instance. But now if I actually just re-press Enter on here, if I just refresh the page, you're going to see I get access denied. That's because this link, when it's used, only works for five seconds and then it expires. So users can stay on the page as long as the PDF is loaded for as long as possible. So now if they need to access it again, they can just open up uh, the window again and they can just re-download the PDF right here or they can start viewing it again. And this is going to work for as long as you want. And again, if somebody tries to access it, let's say they share it and they try to access it, they're going to get that access denied message right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about how exactly to set this up. The first thing that you need to do is just come in here to the Memberium Remote Files. That's under Memberium Remote Files, and you set up a profile name right here. This name can be anything that you want. In my case, I chose the bucket name Memberium 3. That's my bucket name inside of Amazon S3. However, it can be whatever you'd like. This is only used internally inside the shortcode. After putting your bucket name into this field right here, you're going to come over to the default host. Now, again, by default and for most users, this is just going to be s3.amazonaws.com. You don't need to make any changes there. Just type in s3.amazonaws.com. The default bucket here, this is going to be the bucket that is inside of Amazon S3. So you need to make sure that you have the spelling and all of that correct because this is what we're going to use to actually connect. In the region, just select which region that bucket is. If you don't know the bucket region, you can come over here into Amazon S3 and you can see your region right there. For example, mine is US East, and so by coming back over here, I can just choose US East 1. For the access key and the secret key, these you will need to get from Amazon S3. You may have set up IAM users, you may just be using the root keys. Whatever you choose to do, that's your option. However, just copy those keys right in there. And the last option right here is the expiration. You can set this to 5 seconds, 10 seconds, really 5 is, is plenty. Uh, it just needs enough time for the browser to load the PDF. If you do anything longer, it's possible that uh, you know somebody could share that link with somebody quickly and then they could all, all download the file. Now, this is just to be clear, the default expiration. You can override this at any time inside the shortcode. So once that's set up, you'll just press Add Remote Profile and you'll see that it will pop up right up here at the top. Now what I recommend you do is come over here to our documentation and just go ahead and copy one of the uh, examples that we have here. I like to use this bottom one right here. You can just generate the entire link using uh, that example. And we'll just come over here into WordPress and we'll paste it in. 
Now there's a lot of options here, but let's just go ahead and quickly go through them. Uh, really, this first uh, part right here, you can just simply ignore for now. Uh, the profile, that's gonna be what you typed in. So mine was Membarium3. And again, that's not your bucket name, that's just what you named it inside of Membarium, into that remote files tab right here. So if you just named it uh, Membarium or Membarium3, that's what you would type in. It doesn't have to match your bucket name. In the object here, this is where you are going to list out where this object is inside of Amazon S3. So real quick, let's come over to my bucket and we'll click inside of uh, Membarium 3 and you'll see that I have a Lesson 1 folder and then inside of there I have the Lesson 1 PDF. So what I'll need to do is just simply come over here and I'll type in uh, forward slash Lesson 1 forward slash Lesson 1 dot PDF. Now to make your life super simple, if you haven't already put all your files in S3, I would highly recommend using uh, no spaces, so don't use spaces inside of your uh, names, and just make them as simple as possible. If you start doing spaces, you'll have to do things like percent %20s and, and just various things to get the spaces inside of a link like this, since you can't just put a space like that. It just simply doesn't work correctly. So once you have that put in there, you can now come over here to this where it says click here, and that's gonna be the actual linked text. So what we're doing here and what the shortcode is doing, it's essentially creating a link and then it's wrapping that link, uh, or I mean it's embedding that link into whatever you put here. So you could technically have uh, some sort of image or, or something. In this case, I'm just going to do download PDF. Okay, now I'll go ahead and update the page. And I highly recommend you test this with a test user that's non-admin. However, you can also just open this up in a new tab right here, and you can test it out. So as you can see, I have my first link right there. That's the one we already tested, but I have my second one right here. So if we go ahead and click it, you'll see that it actually just opens up straight away. And we give it five seconds, and we refresh, and we're going to get that access denied message because it's already been five seconds, and the link has been expired. I hope this integration helps you find more success in your membership site. If you're having any problems getting this set up, please review the written documentation that's above or below this video. And you can reach out to our support team if you're still stuck by contacting us. That's support at membarium.com.